This is an integer functional skills math paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Activity one, bird watching. John plans a bird watching trip with friends. They want to go to a nature reserve. Each friend will drive to the nature reserve. These are the distances they will drive to get there from home. Put the names in order, starting with a friend who lives nearest to the nature reserve. We've got Mark, who will drive 33.3 kilometers. John, 3.0 kilometers. So 0, 0.0, it means just three kilometers. It's the same thing. We've got Pippa with 3.3 kilometers, so that's more than three. We've got Lily with 33 kilometers. So we've got to put them in order, starting with the friend who lives nearest to the nature reserve. So which out of these numbers or out of these distances is the smallest? So this one is 33.3, so more than 33. This is 3 and this is 3.3. .3. So 3 is the lowest of them. So we're going to write John first. Then after John, we've got Pippa with 3.3 .3 kilometers. So just over 3 kilometers. Now we've got Mark and Lily. Mark, that is 33.3, .3, so over 33. That's why we're going to put Lily before Mark. So John lives nearest to the nature reserve and Mark lives the furthest. John will bring some snacks. He has seven packs of biscuits. Each pack has four biscuits. How many biscuits does John have in total? Show you working. So there are seven packs and each pack has four biscuits. So we're doing seven times four, which is also the same as four times seven, whichever you prefer. So we're looking at four lots of seven, right? So one lot of seven and another lot that makes two of them, which is 14. So two lots. We need four, so that's another two. So we're going to do 14 and 14. That gives us 28. If you know four times seven by heart, that's even better. So you can just write 28 as the answer. John has 10 cartons of juice. Four of the cartons are orange juice. John thinks half of the cartons are orange juice. Is he correct? Give a reason for your answer. So half of the cartons, that would be one, two, three, four, five, not four. So is he correct? We're going to say no. Half of 10 is 5. The cartons are cuboid. How many edges does a cuboid have? Edges are these where the faces meet. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. John thinks about the birds he might see. This table shows the most common birds at the nature reserve in 2018 and 2019. Which bird came fifth in 2019? So we're focusing on 2019, fifth. That's this one. So that's the blackbird. This is the end of the first part. 
This is now the second part of the paper where you can use a calculator. Activity 2 at the nature reserve. John and his friends arrive at the nature reserve. John parks at the nature reserve. He pays for the parking with six 10p coins. How much does John pay in total? So that's six lots of 10p coins. So six times 10, which you can do using a calculator as well, gives us 60 pence. John sees 82 birds. Lily sees 63 birds. How many more birds does John see than Lily? So we're going to do 82 take away 63. Again, you can do this with a calculator or you could do it yourself and then check it with a calculator. So I'm going to take away 3 from the 2. 3 is bigger than 2, so that means I need to borrow from the 8. So that becomes 7. This becomes 12. So 12 take away 3 gives me 9. 7 take away 6 gives me 1. So 19 more birds. This chart shows fundraising for the nature reserve. How much more money was raised from the picnic than from the parking? So there we have picnic and parking. Picnic, that goes up to 60. Parking, that goes to 40. So 60, take away 40, that gives us 20. But is that 20p or 20 pounds? That tells us that it is pounds. So we're going to write 20 pounds. John sees the date of a fundraising event in 2022. He writes the date on his notepad. What will John write? Tick your answer. So, 11th of March. March is the third month. So, we've got January, February and then March. So, it's the third one. So, 11th of the third, 2022. First one is not correct because that's 11th of the second. This one is 11th of the third, 22. That's option B and it's the correct one. C is 22nd of the third, so that's not correct. And the year is 2011. The Last option, got 20th of November 2022. So that's not correct either. So option B is the only correct one. The nature reserve is open every week of the year. How many weeks are there in a year? Tick your answer. So in a year, there are 52 weeks. That's something to always remember. Activity 3, taking photos. John starts to take photos. John takes a photo of these birds. How many birds are there? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 birds. John takes two photos of every goldfinch he sees. He takes 46 photos in total. He works out how many goldfinches he has seen. Put the missing symbol in the box. So it's 46 photos in total. If we divide that by two, it should give us how many goldfinches he's seen. So the division symbol is what we need to put here. John has 67 videos on his phone. 
he takes 36 more videos of birds. How many videos are on his phone in total? So we've got 67 and 36 more. So 7 and 6, that is 13. So 3 down and 1 is carried over. 6 and 3, that is 9. And the 1, that is 10. So that is 103 videos. John sees this birdhouse. What is the name of this 3D shape? The name of this 3D shape is cylinder. John stops bird watching at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Which clock shows this time? Tick your answer. So 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That is going to be after 12 p.m., so after midday. So one hour after midday, that will be 1 p.m. or 13. Then 2 p.m. will be 14. 3 p.m. will be 15 and 4 p.m. will be 16. So D is the correct option. The Nature Reserve has a shop, opening and closing times. We've got Monday, Tuesday to Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday with the time specified. It is Saturday. What time will the shop close? So there is Saturday same as Sunday. So it opens at 10 and it closes at 6. John buys a bag of bird seeds to take home. How much does the bag of bird seeds weigh to the nearest kilogram? So as you can see, that is very close to 3 kilograms. It's in between 2 and 3, but much closer to 3 than it is to 2, so we're going to write 3. Activity 4, back at home. John gets home after a long day. John feels cold when he gets home. He checks the temperature in his lounge and the temperature in his bedroom. What is the temperature of the warmer room? So which one is warmer? Let's have a look. So we've got the lounge that is about 15, so between 10 and 20. Whereas the bedroom that is spot on the 20. So the temperature is 20 degrees. because that's for the bedroom, which is warmer. John counts the birds he sees in his garden. He starts to show the results in a bar chart. Complete the bar chart. So we're given four bars. We're just missing magpies. So let's have a look how many magpies did he see. C. and that is 25 of them so we're going to show 25 so here is 25 we'll need to use a ruler to draw a straight line here The rest is completed. John uses a jug to fill the bird bath in his garden. He puts 200 milliliters of water in this jug. Show where 200 milliliters is on this jug. So we've got milliliters 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. So we're going to stop at 200.
John prints a photo. How wide is the photo? Tick your answer. Eight meters, that would be way too long. So a very long room would be eight meters long. So that wouldn't be the case with a photo. Eight milliliters, that is way too short. About the width of a finger. So that's not correct. Eight centimeters sounds good. Eight kilometers would be way too long. So we'd measure distance between places in kilometers. So option C is the correct one. A shop sells photo paper in packs. Each pack has six sheets in it. John is going to print 42 photos. How many packs of photo paper does he need? So if it's 42 in total and there are six sheets in each, we're going to divide by six to get seven. John sends the photos to his friends. He posts these letters. John thinks each of the letters weighs less than 150 grams. Is he correct? Give a reason for your answer. So less than 150. 145, that is less than 150, so that's correct. 100 grams, that is less than 150 again, so that is correct. One kilogram, that is much bigger than 150 grams. There are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. In everyday life, we use K to mean a thousand. So one kilogram is 1,000 grams. 1,000 is much higher than 150. So is it correct? No. I'm going to say one kilogram weighs more. And this is the end of the paper.